everyone! Welcome to May Favorites. I have been loving so many things this month, so let's start with the things that you purchase. I try to keep the appreciation things to non-material things. These Maybelline blushes. These are the Master Highlight in Coral and Pink Rose. Believe it or not, when I first got these, I did not care for them. And I think I even came on here and said that. I thought they accentuated my pores. I don't know if my skincare is working and my pores are smaller or what, but I am loving these. I sometimes use these as well as a blush because sometimes they don't have enough color. I like a dramatic blush. But I love these. I have the coral on today. And they you can use them when you travel instead of a highlight or as well as. They are just beautiful. I really think that they are a nice product now that I've gotten given them more of a chance. And they last forever because this coral one especially I have used the heck out of and it hardly looks like it has a dip in it. So these are definitely something that I've been enjoying this month. Another thing that I have been loving is my Jergens Natural Glow. And I want to say thank you for the, the recommendation of the three day glow. It brings out such a beautiful deep tan. It's like something I would have if I was in the sun. And by the third day, I was like, whoa, I'm dark. And I love that. If I had to rate all of these, I would say my absolute favorite, without a doubt, is the Three Day Glow. Then I would say it's probably the Mousse and, well, it's Mousse and the Firming Lotion. Those two are Thai. I really like, this is the Compare to Moisturizer. I like this just at night. You can put it on. And I would say the least favorite is the Wet and Dry because it doesn't get me dark enough. Now, if you're fairer, Maybe it will for you. I have the medium to tan. It still doesn't get me dark enough. These other ones that are medium to tan, they work better. But the thing that the, the wet to dry got me doing is taking one of these that is meant to go on dry into the shower, drying myself off, not super thoroughly, so I still have a little bit of moisture on my skin, and then putting it on. The other thing is I'm a wimp. We're 105 today. I don't like the cold and so when I come out of the shower the last thing I want to do is put on some moisturizer that leaves me tacky and feeling very chilled and wanting to get dressed and yet you can't get dressed till it dries down a little bit. Putting this on in the shower is perfect because it's still warm in there, it dries down very quickly, you come out and I'm dealing with my hair or whatever else and I'm ready to get dressed much quicker because it's already had that little bit of time to dry so the wet and dry taught me to take one of these that I want to use in the shower but I would not repurchase the wet to dry but I absolutely love these Jergens products I don't know if I'll buy any other kind of I have to use up a lot of my tanners but I don't know if I'll buy any other tanner as I love these Jergens they just have it nailed so in the heat in Arizona your fingers change a lot I think we are the hottest place in the country. There's one place besides where I live and it's in Arizona. That's the only place that I know of that's hotter than where we are. So your fingers swell a lot in the summer and then shrink in the winter. So rings that fit some of the year don't fit the rest of the year. I absolutely love these ring adjusters. I got them off of Amazon for like I think six dollars for ten. Not only is there ten but these are like a little telephone cord you stretch them out and wind them around and then clip them this could probably do three rings so theoretically you could get 30 rings out of this and it makes it so that that little band is just thick enough that it can go on or off of a finger without being too tight it'll still fit over the knuckle and you can take it off if you want it not as heavy for the summer when your fingers swell up. So love these. It makes rings that I can wear in the summer also able to be worn in the winter or I can buy the larger size and wear them year round. Finally, my Atkins chocolate chip cookie dough. Yes, this box is empty. I eat these all the time. I have one almost every day 
and they are the meal that needs like a snack. I didn't know they were supposed to be a meal replacement. I'm okay with having them as a snack because I don't get very much carbs. So this is practically my only carb and these are delicious. Not only do they have a wonderful thick texture that is so, it feels sugary. There's only one gram of sugar, but it feels decadent and like you're being so sinful and you're not. And it feels just so good on the teeth and the texture of it. I love it, but the flavor, it's not too sweet and yet it satisfies any kind of sweet tooth that I have. One of these at night is heaven or I love throwing it in my purse and then I can have it at work if I need a snack during the day. They are just delicious. I've been appreciating our weather. I love every season in Arizona, but especially our summer. My pool is gonna be warm enough for me to swim in. I love coming outside and warming up when I'm cold from over air conditioning at work or wherever. And I also love being out here in the morning or the evenings, having a cup of coffee. I drink iced coffee, so it works perfectly with the weather. And it's just so beautiful here. I just. I feel very blessed. The other thing I've been appreciating is my work. It is crazy, insane busy, and I want to tell you there's going to be some times where I'm not going to be able to answer comments in the upcoming month because it is going to be that busy, and I'll post that in the comments, but I will read everything. It is crazy busy, but it's challenging. It's the kind of crazy that I thrive on, and I am loving it. It's definitely pushing me, and it's definitely an extreme challenge but it is so much fun and I work with such amazing people and when I was trying to think of what else I was appreciating I just thought about my life and I thought everything I really truly feel blessed I have time to read I travel with my amazing husband that I love on most days of the week <laughs> no he's fabulous I I have time to knit, I have a job that still allows me to have my life, I have fabulous friends, I mean, I just have an amazing life and I'm really blessed and I just look, look at it sometimes and I feel in awe of what I have and it's not anything spectacular like I'm out with the rich and famous or anything like that, it's a quiet happy life and I just feel a contentment with it and I'm really appreciating that. So for TV, I don't remember where we finished off last month, we've gone through a few seasons. Sneaky Pete, we watched the final series that they have out. I really enjoy that show, it has good acting, it's a far-fetched plot but I really really enjoy it. It's very entertaining, love all of the actors on there, they're just amazing. And then Vikings, the final episode, we are almost, or final s series that they've released, we've almost finished it. Makes me cringe, a lot of blood and guts and gore. Um, extremely amazing actors on there. Again, some far-fetched plot, but we really do enjoy it. Now Mark is reading uh, Bernard Cornwell's Saxon series that is about the Vikings, and that's a different series I can't remember the name of it, I'll insert it up here, but when he finishes reading that, he wants to watch the series, but I get to pick what's next, and I'm going to pick the Americans. So for my knitting, my jacket, I have almost finished it, not 100% because I still have to do closures on the front, but I'm pretty happy with it, I love it, and it's always that home stretch that gets me, but I've, and I've done a ton of washcloths. I am now going to start a baby blanket in yellow for someone who is doing the baby room in yellow. And rather than an update on Olivia, I wanted to give you an update on myself. I have had some times where you might see my red eyes, my wrinkly under eyes, and I look not my best, and I feel not my best. That is when I've had exposure to food that is hard for me to avoid at times um, when we're traveling especially. I have to eat pretty plain, meat and vegetables. If I get into soups or stews or gravies, 
they pretty much always have flour and are gonna put me down <laughs> so um, I've accidentally done some things at home as well uh, taco seasoning found out the hard way it had flour in it those days take me two to three days to recover from so I'm getting stronger because that used to take me down for four to five days but I'll still be happy when it doesn't take me down. Um, I'm still on the supplements. I will be off of those when I'm ready. I have a crazy summer with work. I will not even consider going off of those to test. Whenever I've tested it, I get the swollen, tingly gums, swollen tongue, red eyes, aches and pains. I can feel all of my fibromyalgia, my lupus, my Sjogren's, my rheumatoid arthritis whatever autoimmune you want to label it as, it all comes roaring back. And so when I'm on the pills, the supplements, it helps me to heal. So I am still healing and getting stronger and will not consider going off of those until later in the summer. And then I'll experiment and see if I'm stronger. I do know I'm getting stronger all the time. And I'm so grateful that this is within my control. It's food and I'm figuring it out and that makes me very happy and i will be doing some more videos on this about how i'm eating and different things like that but you've all been so kind to share this journey with me and to reach out and to tell me you're thinking of me and praying for me and i just feel really blessed and it means so much to me that you care and that so many people ask so that's why I wanted to do this I get all teary knowing how great you guys are but it means so much to me and I am doing amazing as long as I figure this out and I am learning and it's all good because it's a good journey and like I said it's within my control and that means I don't just have to be a victim where I am at the mercy of whatever. And when I didn't understand this, when I was really sick, I would just have a bad day and I wouldn't know why. And now I'm like, okay, I feel horrible. What was it? What did I eat? And I can play detective and sometimes I don't figure it out, but you know, that's okay. I'm learning as I go. So thank you so much for all of your kindness and your support. I really do appreciate it. So I always love it when you share some of your month with me. So please share down below whatever your highlights were that you've been loving, whether it's makeup or life or just things that are going on. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you spending some time with me. I hope the birds weren't too noisy and I hope you have an amazing day. We'll talk to you next time.